Hey guys, so I'm at home and I'm really bored and I know I'm due for a deep conditioner on my hair and I'm off tomorrow and I actually just kind of want to stay in the bed all day so I'm going to do it tonight, my hair tonight. And I was trying to think of a new style to do for my hair and I was sitting there watching YouTube and I was going like this on my hair and I kind of let it go and it's not doing it now but it was a perfect co finger coil. And I know I never uploaded the video from when I did my finger curl on a blowout, which was really long and really hard and very messy, but I like the results. But I'm overdue for a deep conditioner, so I forgot I was going to do that, and I need something to do with my hair. So I'm going to do a coil out. I just don't like wearing coils in themselves. So I'm going to wash my hair and do my deep conditioner, and I'm going to come back to you guys on my coil out video. So as you guys know, I normally do my deep conditioning with um, organic olive oil um, deep conditioner, which I'm almost out of, but I'm going to use that. And I have this new product, uh, if you guys watched my previous videos, I went to um, Sephora and got some Carol's Daughters products and I have the black vanilla hair smoothie, which it's supposed to be, um, it says intense conditioning treatment for chemically treated hair because I have color, so that's why I ended up getting that. Sorry if the camera's crooked. And, um, anyway, but it's supposed to be, I use it as a leave-in actually, and it works really great. Like, my hair is really soft. It doesn't feel dry or crunchy like when you leave other conditioners anywhere you're not supposed to. But I use, like, a little, little bit. So I'm going to mix these two together and do my decondition and do my detangling, and then we're going to do a coil out. Because, um, I worked early today, so I'm not used to being home this early. <laughs> so, I'm going to do that. And, um, so, let me go. I don't need to wash my hair. I'll just wet it, and then I'm going to put this on here. Okay. So, here's my hair with the, um, the, um, olive oil, um, deep conditioner and the black vanilla hair smoothie by Carol's Doors. I got this from Sephora. This jar was 20 bucks. 20 bucks on Amazon. I think you can probably get it for 15 off of eBay, but you pay $5 shipping, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, so I put that in and I, I took my um, wide tooth comb and I combed it through. I normally go back over with my denim brush, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put on a plastic cap and I'm going to probably just keep it off for probably like 45 minutes to an hour at least and then I'll sit under the dryer for like 15 minutes. I hate sitting under the dryer so to offset me sitting under the dryer I'll just leave it on extra long. So I want to do that and then I want to sh show you how I uh, did my finger for did my coil out before. I did it on a blowout before but um, I really think that the only reason it looked the way it did is because I said I some relaxed so I'm kind of interested to see how it's going to look this time. So let me put on my cap and I'll see you guys in about an hour now. So I'm back. I decided not to sit in the dryer. I, I just hate sitting under the dryer. But I think I, I'm going to invest in the beautiful hair steamer. Because people said they have noticed it for that. So my hair is pretty much soaking wet. I just put this towel on top of it because it was dripping kind of bad. And I'm only going to do um, a couple. And then I'm going to sit in front of the TV and finish watching my movie. <laughs> so... Last time I did my coil out, I used Mrs. Jessie's Curly Pudding. And you can use whatever you want. Let me take the glasses off. You can use whatever you want. So i got to use my handheld mirror. I don't really worry about parts because I don't wear coils. And I can't really see. I need my glasses. <laughs> I might have to go higher up and then do these later. But, um, I so I'm not going to worry about parts, which is why I want to sit in front of the TV. If you worry about parts, you're actually going to need a mirror for this. But, um, anyway, last time I used Mrs. Jessie's Curly Pudding, and it came out pretty good. It was just, like, messy while I was doing it. And I'm doing it on wet hair, but it, I don't think it really matters because I did it on, I'm doing it on wet hair now. I've done it on dry hair before, too. Um, so I'm just taking just a little piece right here. I have this little mix of stuff. It was actually a bra product I was trying to make, um, like just a moisturizing spritz, and I know I put shea butter green tea, um, olive oil, coconut oil, water, and rosemary. And it didn't, um, when it cooled, this was on top. And then I had like this white water, which is probably co the mostly coconut oil, but 
I know obviously from the green tint, it's obviously olive oil and it smells like um, rosemary in there too. And I always wanted, I always like was saying I wanted to make a creamy olive oil kind of mixture. So I was like kind of pleased, but I don't remember what I did. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this, this on my hair, smooth it out. I have my fine tooth comb because you want to just make sure there's no tangles. And I actually just finger coil it. So I'm just going to take my finger and go around. And there's the first coil. And I hope you guys can see that. And uh, like I said, I'm not really worried about parts. So I'm just sectioning the hair as I go. Because I'm rather, as soon as I'm done with this, probably do like a couple more. And then I'm going to go watch TV because I'm bored out of my mind. I'm comb through it. And I literally am like just touching the top of this mixture. Like I said, this is olive oil. Rosemary oil, coconut oil, and water. And water was what I put it in, but th it didn't. They didn't really mix very well. So this is just kind of like what was on top, and I put the rest of it in my squirt bottle, which I have no idea where it is. Which I'll probably go check the kitchen. And um, there's two coils. Um, I have. I'm debating on if I'm going to get a, um some water and keep my hair wet. I I don't know yet. I haven't decided. And luckily with my graded hair, I don't really need to my clips to hold it in place. As soon as I push the hair out of the way, it kind of just stays out of the way. But I did a coil out before, and I really, really liked it. And then I did it on a blowout, and it, did, it looked more like a, a curly fro than an afro. So that's why I'm doing this today, because I have nothing to do. I'm only holding the hair back so it doesn't get caught up on when I'm trying to do the coil. Make sure you um, twirl the ends very well. You don't want it to get um, frizzy. So it's 5.30 in the afternoon right now, so we'll see how long this takes me. I think this will probably be my last one. And uh, if you plan on wearing them out, you know, I you might want to search some other videos because I, I don't want to wear them out. So, I know a lot, of, you can put pretty much anything. I've used Miss Jessie's before for my coil out before. Um, then I have this mix this time. I know some people use Jam. Some people use Echo. Some. It just depends on your preference, you know, just to hold it. Hold the, um, to hold the coils. Obviously, if you're going to wear the coils, I think that you probably need to use like a gel. Because I know some people can wear co um, wear coils like maybe 10 days. Um, I just I just don't like the way they look on my head. <laughs> to me, they look like dreads, and I'm not a dread fan. So, that's the only reason. But I do like the coil out. So, I'm going to coil my hair tonight. And I don't plan on going anywhere, but if I do, I'm going to throw on a hat. But I'll probably put on my, um, I'll probably wrap my hair in a satin before I put the hat on so they don't, my coils don't get disturbed. And I think I probably will get my um, spray bottle and just do this on wet hair. But coil, last time I did a coil on my bow out, it took me two hours to coil my whole head. Um, the time before that, it it was like two and a half hours, and I didn't even do the whole head. I got bored. I mean, I got sick of doing it, so I actually just shingled Miss Jessie's in the crown of my head, and just had coils around the rest. So, which actually came out pretty decent. So for me, um, my hair is already kind of coily, so shingling, um, some sometimes, not all the times depending on what I use, will give me the same result. Miss Jessie's, it's a hit and miss. Sometimes it looks really good, sometimes it doesn't. So, because when I did my big chop and I shingled Miss Jessie's um, through my hair, it didn't look that great. Um, but since I'd already spent $22 on that jar, I was going to use that stuff. 
and I did it again, and it looked really good, and I did it a couple of days ago, and it looked really good, but today I'm just going to use this moisturizing mix, because I kind of just want my hair to be soft and have a little bit of moisture in it, to it, so I'm probably going to do like a little roller like this, so I'll come back to you guys when I'm done, as, as, as again, I'm going to be watching TV, so don't go off of my time, because like, okay, it's 540 now so we'll come back when I'm done and I'll see how long it takes but like I get it again is it I'm watching TV so so um it is 627 so I actually did this really really fast and it's probably because I wasn't looking in the mirror and so this is my hair it's all coiled up as you can see this is why I, I, I don't really like the way it looks on me when it's coiled and but I also have them going every which way because I, when it coils I kind of like it a little bit crazy but I use that little mix which is really a mixture of, of oils I didn't not, I don't have like any gel or anything in it and I'm going to just do a 360 which for some reason I just looked in the mirror and the back is seems to be um better than the um front and my hair stayed wet the whole time, so I didn't really need to use a um, spray bottle. Because anybody with natural hair knows that if you let it air dry, it only takes about an hour to or more to dry. So, um, I did this in another hour. So, um, and now I'm done. And this is um, some black vanilla leave-in conditioner by Carol's Daughter. I'm just going to spray this on my hair. I don't know why I just am. I like it. I like it and it makes my hair soft. And I like for my hair to... I have the hand and hair syndrome, so I like for my hair to be soft. I, I'm really, like, some of them I like, and then, like, this side, it's kind of fuzzy, so this is why I just don't wear them out. But I'm just going to spray this. Like I said, I really just use a mixture of olive oil, coconut oil, and you know, shea. It was, it's not shea butter. It's a um, mixture by Shawshin Carson. Here it is, right here, too. It's, um... Shea Butter Green Tea Triple Repair Hair Dress. So, this mixed with some Palmer's Coconut Oil, Extra Virgin Olive Oil, and Water, and Rosemary. But, I'm guessing that the, the little mixture that was on the top is um, the coconut oil and the olive oil. And I smell more rosemary in it, so. And then there's some water that's yellow, which is probably the, um, this and probably some chemicals of the coconut oil but I'm just going to put this on my hair I'm just going to sleep on it so I'm not going to wear it anywhere tonight I don't plan on it I'm not going anywhere tonight I don't think I can go anywhere tomorrow until 2 o'clock so and I'm just make sure it's there and just tuck these on so I can continue watching my movie <laughs> And so, I will come to you guys when I get ready to uncoil them. And that's it. That only took me, let me think, if I started. It took me about 30 to 45 minutes to do that. That I didn't take very long. And we'll, we'll see the final result. Alright, it's the next morning. And I, I, I'm really not pleased. I just don't like the way that it looks. You might think it's cute. Here it is. But here's what I'm going to do with it. I was talking about making it into a puff. I have a headband. And I'm going to do that. And this video, this little clip's going to actually be kind of short because um, my camera's almost full. But this is the finished product. Let me see if I need your 360. I mean, some people might like it. I don't care too much for it. But I was thinking about making it into a puff. So I'm going to get some of my Echo. And I'm going to gel it back some, and then I'm going to put a headband on it. But I'm going to take a picture of it, how it is right now, and then I'm going to show you in this pup, because I'm not wearing it like this. I just, I don't care for it. But it's weird, because it, last time I did it, I, I really liked it. This time, not so much. So, But last time I used Mrs. Jessie's Curly Pudding. So, that says a lot. I might need to just use a Curly Pudding when I do my, um, my coil outs. So, um, here are those pictures, and like I always say, um, stay beautiful and stay natural.